Hello and welcome back to the Edain mod for Battle Middle Earth 2 The Rise of the Witch King as we go through the very last of the Defend the Shire special custom map, whatever you want to call it, as Rovonian. And I must admit this faction is very, very, very different. I did a little bit of testing beforehand, and I must admit, it is very difficult to give them a name other than confusing. Because we'll get into that later. So, firstly, you can see the three, four different types of units we can get. We can get the Ravonian Fighter, which is just Wyman of Dunland. Ravonian Spearmen, which are just uh, uh, Spearmen of Dunland, and Ravonian Axe Thrower, which are just Axe Throwers of Dunland. And then they can be all upgraded to the Lake Town version, or upgraded into a their Lake Town form. So the fighters become swordsmen, spearmen become spearmen, and the archers become arch well, the Axe Throwers become archers. Pretty obvious, pretty simple, right? Well, wrong. They have something else involved with it as well. Only does it cost twenty. We have a special ability called Standing Army. And when you when I tell you what this Standing Army does, you are going to be very surprised. I know I was. When, um, whenever, after, after the round is finished, this unit will, it says a unit, this unit will downgrade. It will return to its original state. But there is a way to decrease the cost of this upgrade. And that is through the captains or the generals of the of Lake Town slash Dale. Because these units can upgrade up to the Dale form. Zars Lake Town for costing 20 and then Dale units cost 30. And then you can pay 60 in the Lake Town version to get a general. Either paying the initial 20. And then pay 80 in the Dale form, which will cost another 30. So, so basically, it costs 80 to upgrade one of these guys to a general permanently, to, or Lake Town general. So each of these, so any, whenever, whenever you want to upgrade someone, you, it just costs five less. So you need four Lake Town generals for every Lake Town upgrade to be permanent, basically, and six Dale generals before they their their um, upgrades cost nothing. And basically, that's just a way of whenever you make more of these cheap units, you can make them quicker, and they can immediately upgrade them to their final form. Unlike with like the the the, the Imlodus video where we had so many Imlodus um, uh, swordsmen made into spearmen, but we never got them to their final form because they cost too goddamn much. As you can see, Lake Town Bowman. I'm next, and then it'll be Dale Bowman, and then Lake Town Swordsman, and the Spear version is Spearman, but we're not going to make Spearman yet, we don't need them. We don't need Spearman yet. And then, as I said, the last version is the Bionning. Now, Bionnings are actually quite unique in what they've done with them. You think, okay, so it's a Bionning, so it can turn into a bear whenever you, after you've made it. Wrong. It is always. Oh, I've only seen its first form, the first form, but there are two different forms spreading off from the first form. And it is quite interesting what they've done with them. But we will show them off eventually. We'll get, we'll get to it eventually. We just need to start making enough money to start making the generals. Once we start making the generals, which all can, the only way you can make the generals is, my, um, is a good thing to note, is through the Ravonian fighters. So don't make the spearmen and don't make axe throwers unless you know you're making, unless you're trying to focus on I know if you're focusing on getting uh, Lake Town generals or Dale generals, don't make, don't don't upgrade the guys until you know you're getting the permanent upgrade. Don't. Oh yeah. By, by the way, it, it may have already been obvious, but generals are permanent upgrades. They're the only of the permanent upgrades that don't have the standing army ability. And yet you may think, why not upgrade them to the Dale form? The Dale form also has standing, the standing army effects. So it's just a matter of upgrading them to the flat out general, and then at the end, the start of each turn, upgrading them back to their robot, uh, 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 upgraded forms. That's it. So not, not, not so much sitting around doing nothing for this faction. 
Yep, you can see it'll go into late time form and the signing army ability. In this round, the unit will be downgraded. Have to reduce the cost of the upgrading level by five each. So the more generals you can make, the better. I'm speaking quickly, making sure I'm doing everything quickly because if I miss out on anything, if we miss out not being able to upgrade one guy, we're just losing money, basically. Yeah, we've got a few good axe throwers now. We've got plenty of infantry. We just need to now prepare for when we're fighting the AoE Black Oryx because they can kill us quite quickly. Or if we prepare and send them out in one at, one at a time, we should be fine. I say that, but we're probably still going to lose. We're doing fine, though. We're, it seems to be doing fine. Yeah, we can now pay for another general. And as I said, they cost less. The generals don't. They all, always cost the same amount. But you can upgrade them less. That'll great. Uh, choose you to be Clang Group 2, Clang Group 1, Clang Group 3. This is where we need to micromanage a little bit. There we go, we're doing well now. So start, just trying to get those micromanaged moments in because they really do make you more money. Especially against units that can do AoE damage. Especially as I feel like Rovonian, seeing I don't know anything about the faction other than what I've already told you, <laughs> um, it's good to try and focus on micromanaging to get that extra value. Uh, don't get anything and we can upgrade next We're doing well. We are doing well. I think. I say we're, I say we're doing well. I could be completely wrong and we could be messing everything up. Well, let's find out. Yeah, we're trying to kill the Black Rocks before the AoE attacks their fruit. There we go. Now, I think we can get the last two captains. Five and then 60. Yes, now we are on the winning train. I can see it costs nothing. I'm now we've all got Lake Town units. And then we've got the Dale units, which are a little bit harder to pay for. We need to pay 150, 110 for the first general. And then it's just only minus five off trying to get the next one. So we are going to be building. Now we've got our generals. We're going to start building up our army again. Start making some more axe throwers. Start making a few more uh, fighters. But not spearmen. Not spearmen yet. I think it's... I can't remember which wave the Morgul Rider starts showing up. But we do need to be, have some spearmen by then, I think. But we'll try getting some more archers, but mainly infantry. Because we need at least six swordsmen before we can make them generals. Okay, as you can see, they've all downgraded. So we upgrade them again. I should have brought them into the front, but no, nah, I forget. So now we've got some spearmen, we've got some archers, we've got some, got a lot of swordsmen. We should be able to kill Goth Mog. They should, we probably won't. We can micro around, like we did with Mladris, we should have a chance. Yeah, we've, we've won this one. It's all about getting as as fast to those as fast to those is 
Alright, uh, getting those Ro um, Rovani units upgraded to Dale unit, Lake Town units as quick as possible. That's, that's it, that's all you need to do. And now we're going to get ourselves the first Dale captain. Yep, costs 30 and then costs 80. So, a bit expensive, but it's worth it. And now we can start grading the Lake Town units to Dale units. And then we'll have permanent Dale units, which are... They've got decent stats better than the, um, the Lake Town units. But the main difference is they have bonuses against infantry, monsters, and heroes. They are, they are made better to be doing more damage. More than the stats give off, actually. Depending on which one it is. Infantry, or well, the swordsmen do more damage against infantry. Pikemen do more damage against cavalry and monsters. And archers do more damage against monsters and heroes. Ah, excellent. As you can immediately see now, we're fighting against overseers. Even as in large as we lost to the overseers. But this time we've just completely obliterated them. Because yeah, I'm, I'm in full tryhard mode right now. I am not letting the game beat me. I'm gonna beat the game. I'm gonna be I'm gonna bend it over and make make it my bitch. People think that's a bit too provocative. You're probably watching the wrong probably watching the wrong YouTuber. <laughs> or oh. oh, I wrote the game. No, 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 no! Don't tell me I wrote the game. Wait, what? What? <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? What is he? Is he the god? No, he's dead. <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? Um, I think I broke the game. For a second now, I broke the game. What just happened? Oh, I'm so confused. Yeah, we'll start making the Bjornings once we have the Dale Captains and we're instantly upgrading all our units to Dale units. Unfortunately, we can't upgrade the, Dale, the Lake Town Captains to Dale Captains and though, to be honest, we wouldn't really want to. They're still paying more money to get the Dale units upgraded to Lake Town units. No, the Ravonia units into Lake Town units. Yeah, we are doing well now. We've got three Dale Captains. And last time, we only just got to that point near the very end. Where we almost died to Castellans. Yeah, we are doing pretty well. But we do need to make a few more Spearmen now, I think. A few more Spearmen and then try and make some more... Um, guys... Those generals are actually pretty decent. Their stats are really good. 1200 health is already on par with the um, the um, largest elves. And they're, they're elves. They're on par with... They're even better than elves, actually. Uh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop my statement there because even I can have to admit they're not as good as the elves. Yeah, I could pay for another job, Del Captain. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm gonna keep making those Dale Captains until every every unit can be made Dale units. It's just worth it. It is all worth it in the end. If it means I'm making money at the end of the day, I don't care. I'm gonna do it. I like saving the most money. What makes me me. Although I would like to make a few more guys soon. That's definitely one of my things to do on my bucket list before we all die. I think it will be definitely be this round we make more units. I don't know if I'm going to make enough for some more captains. Or we'll just fall a bit short of them. Although we need to make two more, I think. My memory serves me well. Okay, yeah, now we're starting to, start to make more spearmen. You know when the trolls are coming, we need to make more spearmen.
Yeah, we made three more spearmen. That's, that's pretty good. And they're all immediately Dale Sp uh, Lake Town spearmen. So we're doing really well. Obviously, their AoE massive knockback attacks are not good for us, but we kill off one of them, their passive ability to buff each other goes away, so we should be fine. Drama trolls are bitches. I want to say knockback and leadership bonus. You you give that to the army um, um get, well, the, the, the Sauron has in the very last uh, one of the very last waves, and you are screwed because all those orcs is ridiculous. Bowman. I say I would say Axeman, but we're just make, gonna make him a Bowman anyway. And another Swordsman. Again, I would say Fighter, but we're just gonna make him immediately a Swordsman. What is that? Our army is already massive, and we're about to fight the Moral Riders, so we're doing. I say we're holding out really well. Only one more general left, and we can make all these guys Dell units. And then we are going to be on a roll. Then we can start making the awnings, and that's when we can make. That's when things get hackers. Yeah, we're, we're going to win this. Easy. Easy. We're going to win this easy. We're going to make a lot of the awnings near the end. How much? Five. Well, just to see what these units can do. The ability is called Discipline. Due to their training, the units deal 20% more damage against special units. The swordsman is against infantry, spearmen, cavalry, and monsters, bowmen, monsters, and heroes. Yep, now all of these units, instead of going straight to Wildman, go just to the Dale units, and now we can make them. Also, make a Bionning. You can see the two different upgrades they can become. Bionning Beekeeper and the Bionning Berserker. I don't have enough time to upgrade everything and make everything. I don't have enough time to do all everything. I don't have enough time. I need more time. Oh no, we're screwed. We're screwed. Surround them, kill them all. Bionning, do your stuff. Okay, we may be fine. Ooh. Crisis averted. But yeah, Ravonian, unlike Gondor, doesn't have any special leadership units. It just can make its elites. Well, its top tier units, not elites. It's, it can make its top tier units a lot cheaper than any other faction. Just because of the fact that if you don't use the captains, if you don't know how to make the captains, you're screwed anyway. Yeah, now I'm just going to make Bjornings, I think. Maybe another Swordsman. And then a Spearman. Good for me. Yeah, other than that, I think we may, may want to make a few more archers, but I think that's, just, that's a good amount of archers already. Wait, what? Um, what in the hell is this? No, that's not real.
No, that's just... That's a glitch. Don't believe it, it's just a glitch. They keep making more beyondings. So then, beekeepers. They are... Compared to the size of the brutes already, which is 860. They are exactly the same stats. But they have beekeeping. The berserkers have almost double the amount of health. 20 extra damage. And then... Gester Wilden. Gester Wilder. I don't even know if I'm the Nazgul. Damn, I'm, I'm not ready for this. I'm not on the planet today. I'm, there's so much micromanaging having to do to spit, send them all into their, their final forms. Yeah, we'll see what the Beekeeper can do, and we'll see what the Berserker can do, and then we'll decide which one's best to go for. It'll probably be the Berserker, just because it costs more. But you, ne you never know, the Beekeeper could be better. Focus on shooting down at least one of the Nazgul. Run away, run away! But yeah, for some reason, the Dale units can... Um, this, this isn't real, by the way. This is this is just a glitch. Because, you know, mod, mods have glitches. Mods have little problems that sometimes they just can't fix. These Dale units cannot become Galathrim. They cannot become Karis Galathon Guardians for 30. It'd be OP if they could do that. So it would be OP. Yeah, let's get the Berserker. So he, this is his. Um, when the Beyonding Berserker loses more than 15 health, he becomes a bear. And bear form, he does 3 to point three five as much damage and has twice as much armor. Okay, so the ordinary um, Beyonding is shirtless. But the Beyonding Berserker is not as shirtless, but has a cloak instead. And when he reaches a certain amount of health, he becomes a bear. Pretty good. But he's really weak to spearmen. That's... He's immediately classed as cavalry. Okay. All those guys are just OP. I don't know. It's some, definitely something. Now what will the what can the bee keep? He becomes Grimbjorn. The only bee keep is followed by a horde of bees which deal damage to nearby enemies. So it's AoE on AoE, and this guy can turn into bears. I don't want to silent that kind of person, but is that it? Is that all they can do? Did he really have nothing? Did he really think of nothing else for this faction? Then, okay, okay, gonna accept it. I would have thought, you know, they might have added in something special to Rovonian. Oh well, this is fine. It's just bit. It's it's kind of anticlimactic, like the dwarves. Again. Yeah, I'm I'm actually a bit disappointed that they didn't do anything else with this faction. It had so much potential. But at the same time, there's not really much else you could do with Ravonian, is there? Not really much I guess you could make Darwinian units. Oh, they could have had so much fun trying to make Darwinian. That would have been so fun. Oh they had again they had so much potential with this faction and they kinda of just ruined it. In my opinion. Yes, they've got nice units and all, but the potential. Where's the potential? 
have done so much cool stuff with this, and they kind of just all they did was make it so you have to keep micromanaging everything and never get any good upgrades. That's it. This is it. This this is the fastest we've been through any faction upgrades. I'm actually a bit disappointed. There is literally nothing else to show. I was really hoping for something more fun than this. I really was. I was hoping for like a hero. I, thought, I, I would have thought something like a hero unit, these guys would have been amazing. Because, you know, like Bard, Brand, whoever, that was alive at the times. King Brand, I think, and Bard, the Bowman. I thought like them would have been amazing in this kind of thing. And Grimbion. And Bayon. Oh, they had so much potential. Oh, I'm, I feel disappointed. I, I feel like I've been let down a bit. I, I really thought they'd have to do some really fun things with this faction. I think there's a bit of fun stuff in the fact you have to keep pressing these buttons every turn, but that's not, that's not so much fun as it is just um, practice, practicing micromanaging. And to be honest, I'm sure not everyone would like to have to micromanage everything, every turn. Ugh. Especially when literally this is the only faction that forces you to do it. And actually, when I think about it, Imlogis comes close with the scholars, but... That's only one guy, not the entire faction. Got the Muma killing, we should be fine. Yeah, don't don't let it do that. Don't don't let it don't let it win. Just yeah, just, just travel the spear. And that's a smart thing to do, Muma kill. There you go. Just lose. Yeah, my advice when playing Rovonian is spam. That's it. That's all. You, that's all. You, that's all I can really give you. Your units cost hardly any command points. Spam them the out. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to attempt to uh, say that I censored that. I'm just not going to say the word. Just spam them. They don't even cost more command points. Essentially, they cost four, and you can upgrade them to their full potential after a certain tier, and then it's just infinite value. Value town, bitch. Yeah, I really, really thought they'd do something else at least. Even the dwarves had a bit more variety than this. But that's because the guardians of Kazadoom. I mean, uh. Eh. Uh. So. At after viewing all the fact, after now viewing all the factions, I think I can actually give a rating on each of them from the or from the strongest of. Uh, when it comes to faction strength, it's actually quite hard to um, to decide. Looking upon just how the factions were good and how some weren't. So have some unique and some had very little variance. I would say Rohan is probably the strongest. Just because most of his units are pretty cheap. You can fill up your command points really easily. And you have a lot of cavalry options. Cavalry is just the way to is normally the way to win in these kinds of maps. And then you can get the spearmen, which do massive damage, knockback, AoE knockback. It's Pretty scary. And then you've got, then you've got the captain as well. You can just spam out lots of captains. Yeah, Rohan is definitely the strongest, just because most of your guys are cheap and can do so many cool things. Then I would probably say, oh, it's actually hard to guess which one will be next. That would have to be Lothlorien or Gondor. In large, I would say I, I, I'm not going to be biased with Loth, uh, in large saying they're the best because I like them the most. But Imlarja is definitely, I don't think I'll probably, 
Oh, I'd actually know what's that best word this. They're okay, but they're still weaker in this. They're, they're weaker on this map compared to other factions because this is not how. Not the best way to work with other factions. That's that's sound right? No. Screw it. I'm going with it. Gondor's only better because it's got the um, leadership bonuses. Because leadership alone, even with this many guys, is just good. Leadership will always, has always been and always will be good. There's very little in the game that can actually change, that can make me change my mind on that. AoE, not AoE, leaderships are just good. Which makes Loth, again, which is why I said, think Lothlorien is next because the, the Elven Minstrels are so strong. In giving the, um, the Archers of Lothlorien that extra bonus. Oh, enough time to make everything. Oh, faster, faster, faster. Okay. Price is averted. I can. I, I now understand after going through everything else why they give you so much time just because of Rovanian. That's it. They give you time because Rovanian takes so goddamn long to work with. Yeah, going back to talking about the faction ratings, I still think Rohan is number one. Gondor is number two by a narrow, narrow landslide. If that makes any sense. And then... Um, and then Lothlorien's next, just because of their minstrel leadership. It's really strong as well. Imladris, I think, is just naturally weaker. No, 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 no. It's actually harder to start with if you don't know what you're doing but I but seeing that Rovanian takes this much micromanaging and some people just can't micromanage that this quickly in quick succession I do believe in large does get the next place then it's Rovanian and then it's uh, the dwarves so the, the, although the dwarves are good they have very weak ranged options and even even Rovanian has good range options. Not 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 notoriously good like the elves of Lothlorien or the Dunedain um, of Imladris. But to be honest, I think these guys are actually, I think these guys are actually better than the elves of Imladris or the Dunedain of, Im of the elves of Imladris. Less damage. But well, because of their ability to deal more damage to monsters and heroes, they are actually better. That's, that's my personal preference. So, in list of strength, it's Rohan, Gondor, Lothlorien, Imladris, Rovanian, and the Dwarves. That, that's, that's, that's my personal preference upon how I think they fare in this mod. This mod? Not modern. In this custom battle map alone. Always are going to ha obviously have different beliefs. So, so some may prefer it just from their personal preferences of their factions because they're like their favorite factions. But when rating, you can't really discriminate too much about things being your favorite things, especially when you're trying to think: is it good? And is people are people going to want to play it? Yeah, definite. This is, this is definitely a map to look up for anyone who ever want, who ever, who ever, who's ever played the Dying mod, played Valkanilla 2, likes tower defense games, just any does anything fun in general. If you like playing Valkanilla 2, then play this. Not only is the Dying mod good, but this is just a nice little way to re uh, rewind. And you can play with three other people. It's so fun. I do highly incentivize for anyone who has ever played Battle Middle Earth 2 and has not played the Dying mod, I would I would say to you immediately, 
get the Edain mod and play it. It's so it's so easy to, it's so easy to you to get. If you ever need to look up, up um, just ways to make uh, ways to actually install it. It's not hard to install. Just follow the guides that are given to you. And yeah, just play and have fun. Play with your friends. If you have any friends that also play the Edain mod. And yeah, just have fun with it because Oh my god, I I I love I love this game so much. I, I don't think I've said it I don't think I've stressed it enough, but I love the I love this Battle for Middle Earth in general. It's such a fun unique game. That unfortunately you don't you don't you don't see these kinds of games anymore. At least not in the style of Lord of the Rings, unfortunately. I only wish they make more of them in Lord of the Rings style, and they might in the future. With the um, the new Lord of the Rings series eventually coming out, don't know when, don't know how good it's going to be. But when I do know, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be critiquing the hell out of it. I know I am. Yeah, Ravonian, eh, it's a meh faction. You can very quickly spam out your units like Rohan, but unlike Rohan, you have no uniqueness. Other than yes, we need these captains so these guys just keep don't just keep the grading back to their weaker states. Yes, we have bay awnings, but we don't have any cavalry, so or any a bit of a weakness. Immortals didn't have cavalry just because they didn't need it. Immortals with cavalry would be too OP. Simple as that. Now, can the Bjornings kill off the Barrowites? I think the answer to that is yes, but at good, a massive price to our lives. You're dead yet? Dead yet, Kosh? I'm waiting for you to die, Kosh. There you go. It's going to keep making more and more Bjornings. Come on. Faster, 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 faster. You tell this game is all by the fact that I'm trying to speed things up. Look at all those bees, that's beautiful. I'm gonna be like, um, what's her name? Oprah Winfrey. Everybody gets bees! Bees! Everybody gets bees! Has anyone ever. ever, ever I'm I'll be very surprised if anyone hasn't seen the um, Oprah Winfrey with where she just gives everyone bees. Like, what? Why? What the fuck compelled her to say everyone get everyone get bees? You know, you just all you need is that one person to, uh, to file in a lawsuit because they had an allergic reaction to the bees. Yep, it's <laughs> gonna keep making more beekeepers. What are you gonna do about it? Faster, 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 faster. <sighs> oh, that was fast. Even for my standards, that was fast. Look at all those bees. Go on, bees, attack them. Bees! That's, uh, that's gonna be the top of this video. Bees! Bees! Everybody guess bees! Bees and bears. The berserker. I'm 
just gonna keep making more beyondings. Oh wait, we can't now. Oh wait, no. I've already hit the the, com the command points. Well, we've, well now I'm just gonna keep paying for endless pain. That's um, <laughs> we hit endless pain already. That's. I can come more kill all of these guys. Maybe his black Easterlings are actually getting harder to kill. No, he's gonna die. He's good, but he's not that good. There we go, he's dead. That's what you get for running right into me. You shouldn't have run into me, you should have waited. Wait, can we just keep making more and more and more moves? Okay, good. Game. Game doesn't know to carry on. Make another kind of general. They just have to keep remaking them into. That's a lot of bees. I've already said this. Bees! I just can't help myself. I just love. I, I, I watched it once. I saw her do. I saw it once, and I knew then I was hooked on that phrase. The. I should not be cracking up this much as over so, as over Oprah Winfrey yelling bees. Oh no, when I, I've not hit that point where it's just boring waiting. Uh. Oh, they're, oh, they're here? Okay. Hello, Grond. How have you been? It's been like five minutes, hasn't it? No, it's been like an hour, hasn't it? Some guys is like 48 hours for me. It's, for me and you, it's just an hour though. We know we took it. We know we know we took it too well to just lose touch like that. Dead already? Okay. Endless pain. Yeah, very much like Rohan, once you get to the one point, you just, just have, don't have to keep doing anything else other than just upgrading them. There's a lot more variants in Rohan. Although half the units can only upgrade once. For a little bit, and then you just wait, cast kind of waste of command points when you can build better things. Uh, now I'm just complaining. I know it's something I do best, but nah, it's too boring to complain now. It's too boring. What's next? What endless pain? Yeah. Oh my, I'm yawning already. That's not good, that's not good at all.
honestly think we could I just make an entire oh, wait we haven't we've got a beyond that hasn't been upgraded yet a bit late for that now though no the bears how dare you hurt the bears Yeah, if you kill all that that's something I listen learn. You kill the orcs, Sauron dies. Another, another beekeeper. More bees. It's a shame they never actually increase the amount of command points you can get. Oh no, I did not get any of my units to- Oh wait, one of them out anyway is the Balrog. Okay, it's not that bad. But can- Will Rovonium be able to kill the Balrog? That's something I'd like to know the answer to. The answer is no. Our units die far too easily to kill off the Balrog. Look at that though. Not even the Beyonding Berserkers, who have more health than the Beekeepers, can survive one hit, but the Beekeepers can apparently. But yeah, this is basically the end because once we fight Lorian, we're never going to win. So I hope you all enjoyed the Defender's Giant defense maps. This is the last of the six. What will be next? I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think what we could do. Uh, hmm. There are a few Easter eggs I would like to show off. But I don't know if I can or not. Uh, I'm trying to think, what else could we do? What else is there special about the dying mod? Except for this basic video. They just killed my builder. What the hell? They just killed my builder. You do that. He just permanently killed my builder. I never knew the barrel could just kill your builder. And the builder doesn't come back either. <laughs> well, I'll leave you all in that, that little message. So, I hope you all enjoyed. And what we do next is going to be very random. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be fun, I hope. I will see you all next time. And before we end it, let's have let's have, let's have everyone, everyone. Let's have, let's have one last. Bees, bring on the bees. And farewell. <laughs>